do a little king shirt. What? Streaming. Streaming. I don't know today's game plan. We'll figure it out as we go. There's like a whole bunch of different things that we can make today. Um, because I've got a community post out about different ideas for what we can make as suggestions, which I don't do too often. Um, so uh, there's a couple guns in here from like the Titanfall series, like uh, Luke has the Volt, which just came out this week. Um, the R99 is in here, right here. Uh, I think I saw the Wingman right here. So there's like a whole bunch of different things that we could do there. Um, STG44, Lewis Gun. Lewis Gun would be interesting because of that big pan magazine on it. Um, I don't think I could do as good as an alien as someone else has. Um, I forget who did it, but someone made a really good Lago Arms alien that I don't think I could redo like anything good of. Um, so. No, they're not. Um, so yeah, we have like a whole bunch of different things that we can do. Um, and I really just don't know which one we can do. What's the, I think the P7 is a handgun. Yeah. You were right. I never really liked the look of this, how this looked anyways. It looks dumb. Just want the I've never really been a fan of this either. We've been doing a lot of pistol builds lately though, so I don't know if I would make another pistol. Let's um just dig through All weapons from Call of Duty 4. Because I think the only thing we have left to make is the USB 45 from Call of Duty 4. Because we should have everything else made already. So let's go to Modern Warfare 2 all weapons then. Let's see what we have from there that we still need to do. The MG4 we need to do, M240 we need to do. This version of the L86 we technically need to do, but that's pretty easy. This version of the AUG we technically need to do as well. Um, and there's secondary weapons. We don't have an M93 ref, but we don't have a striker. We don't have a ranger. We don't have a thumper. There's like a whole bunch of different stuff we can make for the secondaries. Trying to decide on what I should make since the other day I made the 1858 new army revolver, the Walter P22. Gosh, dude, I really hate making revolvers. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different options for Modern Warfare 2 that we still need to do, technically. And then for Modern Warfare 3... Um, dang, we have a lot that we need for Modern Warfare 3. Dang. Do 
new anime fans from TikTok are just finding out that the Hunter x Hunter Arsenal also has a really bad health problem. Huh. They're calling him Ronan. He's in the hospital again. Yeah. His wife is the only art style and stuff done. That's good. Because I think he has a story written out. He just has to draw it. Yeah. So she's going to probably finish it. Okay. If he dies. You know he married an actress or you know that? From Gecko, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, he married her. Two originals. See, we could always make this version of the model 1887 because we made the Modern Warfare, well we didn't make the Modern Warfare 2 one yesterday, but I have a version of the 1887 that we could easily convert to this version. Because this would be like super easy to do. Um, so then Black Ops 1 all weapons, because I'm sure there's stuff in Black Ops 1 that we're missing still. Yeah, so we could do like the older style of M14 stock, because I think I've only done one once before and it looks really, really bad, so we could definitely redo that. Um, this style of Hamas we could do, we've never done this version of an infield, we've never done this version of M16. I've done a glow before, but it doesn't look as good as this, so we could definitely do it. Uh, the commando we could do, I've got to do another FAL, um, but I need to, I'm copying someone else's FAL because their FAL is really good. So we could definitely get that going. We definitely have a good G11. I've already done this style of MP5K. I've already got a Scorpion from Extreme Lego Guns. I technically don't have this version of a Mac 11, so I could do it. We have the AK-74U, we have my different usernames, Uzi, we don't have a BM-63, I have a good MPL. I don't have an LDD version of a Spectre, I don't have a Kipris, we could do the HK-21. Um, we've done this version of the RPK, we basically have this version of the M60. We don't have a Stoner 63, we don't have any except the Spaz-12 from Uversla. Oh, the PSG-1. That's tempting, because we... Technically, the other day, we made a PSG-1 stock, um, because I used an Airsoft version. Oops. So we technically have a PSG stock that we are capable of using sitting right here um, that we could just literally take copy and paste over to the other one to make the PSG one. Let's go to Black Ops 2. So we don't have an MTAR, we don't have a Type 25, we don't have the SWAT 556, we don't have a FAL OSW, we do have an M27, um, we need to rebuild it. We have a SCAR H, but we need to rebuild it. We don't have an SMR, we don't have an M881, we have an AN94, but it needs to be rebuilt. Um, we don't have an 870 MCS, so that needs to be built. The S12 needs to be built. The HG needs to be built. M1216 needs to be built. Almost all the light machine guns except for the HAMR need to be built, but the HAMR, once we have a SCAR H, you know, those go like hand in hand. Um, we do have the SVUAS, we have the DSR, we have the ballistas, so we have almost all the sniper rifles other than the XPR 50. I'm not doing the assault field. Um, we do have an MP7, P257, Vector K10, Scorpion. We don't have the Chicom or the MSMC, so both of those need to be made. Um, 
Peacekeeper, I technically made in real life, but I never finished it. Um, so we need to, to work on that. No, I'm not getting drafted. Sick. Get the fuck out of here. Um, and then the handguns. We have Bakker's 5.7. We have Attack 45, but it's not good, so we could technically remake it. We have Snuggles B23R. Might have a username as Executioner. We don't have a Cap 40. Uh, we're not, we probably won't end up making the launchers, crossbow, or ballistic knife. Maybe the ballistic knife. Um, we'll see. So after two came three, technically. Um, will we end up making any three guns again? Potentially. Not really. Sh I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's nice to see you sick. It's okay. Um, I was looking at infinite warfare weapon variants the other day. Um, and was actually kind of some of these are really interesting looking that I kind of would not mind making just because they're like super unique looking almost like this is clearly just a modified M14 Obviously the Volk, use the modified AK. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus, man. What type of cancer shit is that? Oh yeah, this thing. It's an, clearly it's a model of 1887 that's been Gucci-fied, if you want to call it that. Didn't they do something with the intervention in this game as well? This is the eraser. Um, which was like a super interesting weapon. Like in terms of look and how it functions and everything like that. Where was... Because they had the intervention dressed up some type of way. Here it is. So we could always go through and Widowmaker. We could always come through and <laughs> Gucci-fy our M200 to look like this now. HDR from Modern Warfare. Which one's the HDR? Oh, that ugly ass thing. No, I've always hated the fucking way that this looks. Like, Jesus, man, look at this thing. This is just. God, this is disgusting. When, in fact, I could do this. <laughs> I just don't understand what the fuck is going on. Like, this is so clearly M200, base M200 all throughout here. This is all fine. This is all fine. And like the second we get out to here, they just change everything up. It becomes this weird abomination of a gun at that point. Let's go ahead and... um. I guess let's Gucci our M200 because clearly, I mean, this is, it's not going to be a very difficult thing to do, obviously. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I'd be pretty okay with, oh shit, this is actually going to be kind of difficult right here. Ooh, I didn't see that. It should definitely be fun though. I, the funny thing is I downloaded the M200 the other night because someone was talking about it inside of um 
my different username stream and how Cora had like a very good looking M200 and I was there and I was like, oh man, yeah, she did have a very good looking M200, but I thought mine looks pretty good too. And let me go back and look at mine just to make sure that I'm not like miserably wrong about how mine looks. Um, and what do you know? Mine doesn't look bad at all. First off, uh, let's get that out of the way, but uh, Cora's does look very good. And now I have a pretty good excuse to kind of come through and revamp it, if you want to call it that, and have some some fun a little bit. This does not actually exist on this model. Should we leave it or should we? Oh, it is right here. Oh, it's just further back. Okay. Um, so yeah, this rail system, I deleted the top of it because it's slightly different on this version, which is perfectly fine because we can just take and leave that, but delete all this and then do like the same thing in the back. We just move this on backwards like so. It does look integrally suppressed. I wonder if that's one of its characteristics in game. Because it's. I haven't played in ages. I played Infinite Warfare almost all of one week and then didn't play it ever again. I bought the game specifically for the. Uh, thanks, Sick. For Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered, because I thought that that would be like the shit. This is going to be the best game ever. I can't wait to be all up in uh, my childhood all over again, basically. And uh, I only played Modern Warfare Remastered for maybe all of a month. And then at that point, I, I kind of realized that it's, they changed a lot in the game, even though it was supposed to be just a remaster. Um, and then they added in the whole um, shop experience and microtransactions and stuff like that. And it just kind of killed the vibe of the game. And I realized if I wanted to, I could just always go back to the original Call of Duty 4 because there was still a, there's still a pretty good loyal fan base for that title. Um, that like you can organize games through and whatnot. Even uh, this most recent Call of Duty, I haven't invested too much into, um, as I'm just trying to mm, not really get my hopes up. I guess is a good way of saying it. No, that's not gonna happen, man. I played some of this new Call of Duty when it first came out, like pretty religiously, because I wanted to take a break from what I was playing at the time, um, which at the time was really just Smite for the most part, um, and a little bit of Warframe as well. And Call of Duty was definitely refreshing. But at the same time, it was also like, it kind of grew old really quick for me, um, which is sad. I wish Call of Duty would uh, kind of find where it needs to be. My kind of like heyday for Call of Duty, if you will, was Black Ops 3 and 2. Um, 3 in particular because I loved their microtransaction system, which is super weird to say because I really don't like microtransactions, but um, their shop in that game, even though it was jam-packed full of stuff that I didn't want to what, didn't want, um, I did thoroughly enjoy the 
idea that there were different attachment variants that you can get for your guns. Um, and it's somewhat happening right now inside of this new Modern Warfare 2019. Um, because you can get the variants on guns, and then depending on which variant of the gun you get, you can also get different attachments and their looks for guns, um, which is really, really cool, because you can then turn around and use that on your like base guns, basically, um, which is really, really cool. I like that you're capable of doing that. Um, in the long run, you can kind of mix and match, make things look good and stuff like that. And then as a Lego gun builder, it gives me the obvious ability to come through and make different attachments for guns. So I can have a lot of different uh, content, basically. I get to milk the system is a good way to say it. We're going to save this real quick. Infinite Warfare. This would be my first Infinite Warfare, Warfare build. Because I've never made anything from Infinite Warfare. Black Ops 2 best COD. Black Ops 2, when I played it, ow. religiously, I would say yes. It would be like this fantastic Call of Duty. Um, the thing is, going to boots on the ground after having a whole bunch of different 3D movement has been like this huge wake up call. Um, when 3D movement was first introduced into everything in the gaming sphere of things because it, I mean it really came in hot. I didn't really like 3D movement all too much um, because the first 3D movement game was Advanced Warfare um, and I hated, 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 hated the 3D movement. Um, like it just it sucked, honestly. It, as someone who came from boots on the ground, um, you would lose people like instantly in the air, and there was nothing you could do about it. Like they would just disappear because they double jumped, and that was really annoying. Sometimes you would lose gunfights for dumb reasons and stuff like that. So I hated the 3D movement aspect. But then uh, we got into playing. Titanfall probably ended up really letting me know that that was the, the future, that that was going to be like the best type of movement possible in the game. And then I started to use an Elite controller. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's just make it 20. Um, 1, 2, Um, so like the second I started getting good at it, especially while using an elite controller, because your elite controller, um, you were capable of mapping buttons to the back of your controller. So I could jump on the wall. I could do all my 3d movements, but never take my fingers off the sticks, uh, which was a huge benefit. And I started getting good at it, um, because you were able to outplay people, not having to sit there and take your thumbs off the sticks and whatnot. So the second I was capable of doing stuff like that, I started to really enjoy 3D movements in the games. Advanced Warfare's 3D movement still really, really sucked because it was just so quick. Um, but they fixed that, obviously, in future titles. Um, because after that came Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 3 had some fantastic 3D movement in it. It did not it lets you get around the map faster if you know how to use it correctly, which was good. Um, that means there's a higher skill ceiling in the game. But it also did not give you like this huge advantage over people if you um, 
were able to kind of like move around in these weird type of ways. This is weird because... No, they've got to be rails because they have a bipod here, but they're different looking than these rails here. That's kind of weird, but I'm going to make them all look the same because I don't want it to be different. You might need to shorten it just a little bit. Like two studs. Black Ops 3 hit this very good sweet spot of just being good. Um, you were rewarded for being skilled, but at the same time there was not too much crutches in the game. I don't say none in the game because there were still definitely some crutches in the game. Obviously the operator abilities were a huge crutch in the game uh, as most of them were one shot kills and they were really annoying. Um, at times, like if you're running this huge kill streak or something like that, and all of, out of nowhere you get fucking purified, and like you know the purifier, you got touched by it once, it was over. That type of stuff in, in the game was annoying. Don't get me wrong, but it never broke the game for me. I liked the market system that they had set up in the game. You were able to. Uh, for the most part, earn everything. There were a couple things here and there that you're not able to earn that were really annoying. Um, I think the best thing to talk about is their new weapons that they brought into the game. You weren't able to always earn those right off the bat, which was somewhat annoying. Um, but then obviously they included the triple play system where you could... Uh, Hey, take a name seven. You could, oh, I believe it was win 100 matches and you were able to get a supply drop that had a guaranteed weapon in it that you didn't have. Um, and then that, unfortunately that also included the melee items in the game as well, which was slightly annoying. But the only good news is if you played the game a lot, which I did, and you unlocked most of the melee weapons, you were almost guaranteed one of the new weapons every time. Um, which is eventually what happened to me. I had unlocked pretty much all the melee weapons throughout the game. Um, and the second I unlocked all of them, I was capable of uh, only getting new weapons, which was really nice. <laughs> Um, because then I could work really hard for everything that I needed, which I enjoyed. I obviously really liked the attachment system as well, being able to uh, get those black market attachments, being able to mix and match them on guns, change how your guns look, and you know, really truly get something unique going on out of it, and you know, something that no one else has, um, which was really nice. I liked being able to do that. Um, it also gave me content as a content creator, which we've already talked about, but you know, being able to build the base version of a locus, and then after that, doing the um, all the, the god mode, if you will, and the god mode was all the regular attachments attached at one point in time, and then uh, after that we could do the, the blackout mode, um, which would be a version with all the black market attachments on it. Um, the fun part of all of that is that eventually... Um, I kind of figured out how to do dark matter in terms of camouflage at Allegra Bricks. Um, in my most recent CUDA, the Mongoose build, that I don't think I've released the channel yet, um, I was able to figure out how to do that type of look. And it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Hey, Zen. Um, and the 
like being able to do that dark matter would be really really cool for the future um, because then anything that I make from Black Ops 3 we get through the dark matter camo on and have a fun time. Glad to see here that your hair is finally silver. Silver hair is pretty badass. So I might add. This fucking front end up here is gonna be ridiculous to build. Like jeez man. Why? And why are there so many rubber bands all over the damn place? Like, okay, I understand uh, the rubber bands that are up here on this peck box, but at the same time, who attaches a peck box to a freaking scope? But all right, um, that's fine. Um, there's a couple of rubber bands on the stock for some reason. I don't really understand that. And then there's uh, the rubber bands up here on this front rail section, which I don't understand either, but they're there. Um, I don't know how long we'll stream for. Um, maybe until we finish this, I'm not entirely sure. This should be a relatively simple build. I mean, there's not even like much detailing going on here. Like most of it's just all one color, uh, which really sucks. We should be, depending on, hey Maxi, depending on how this goes, we might make more after this or we might not. Um, because this was a relatively simple thing to do considering it's just <laughs> it's just my M200 intervention Gucci'd which is perfectly okay because it's giving me content that I don't have to work a lot for making obviously um, but this is like yeah. this is just one of those things we might actually have to raise this section back here up just a little bit because this front section is slightly thicker up here. I think he got banned twice too to head insult to injury. So like Rupert Rooney's my man. And then we have to do this little great design here, which is not gonna be fun to do. I mean, I, I don't know if I miss you or not. I haven't really been streaming lately. So it's kind of one of those like types of things, you know? I've been on standby this whole week. Actually, I'm still on standby. There's honestly a, quite a big possibility that if I get a call right now, I have to end stream to go do that. I, I technically don't go off of standby until tomorrow. Dang. Just gonna add Kyle like that, my man? This little front end over here is gonna be kind of annoying to do. Thank you, Sam. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Zim got it. Yeah, then. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Zen's helping me out on this, and he did. He jumped on it pretty quick, but Kyle's a pretty nice dude. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, if you've ever talked to him, he's pretty genuine. Might have used him. Yeah, yeah. I've kind of talked to him. No, you have He was in the chat and I chatted with him one time. Oh. So I said I kind of talked to him. I guess you have. I don't remember that. He hasn't been in your stream in a while. All your bricks aren't showing inside of LDD because it's not supported by LEGO, by the actual LEGO group anymore. So my recommendation for you is to download Studio instead of LDD because Studio is better programming anyways. 
So just go download Studio. So I gotta make this fucking section up here and I don't really know how I'm gonna do this at all. Do you want me to find it? No. Is it you? So funny thing. Are you the girlfriend? So funny thing about saying I love you in German is we used to do it all the time. Ooh. Me and Sarah. <laughs> is my face in here? Because I just gave you a really dirty look. <laughs> Zen's actually talking about his girlfriend, but... It's funny because I literally used to say that all the time to yeah. one of my ex-girlfriends. Do you remember how to say it? Itch libe ditch. No, my girlfriend. Oh, uh, no. We, I never said girlfriend. We would just say itch libe ditch, which means I love you. And then whoever responded would say itch libe ditch zoo. So then you'd have to change the form of the vowel of no, he's, he's just saying, I love my girlfriend. You get the point, Zen. I've always been terrible at other languages. You're German, but you don't want to speak it? That's honestly very common. No, it's common. I just figured, you know, there'd be, like, lessons or something for you well, in school. Some people... Well, he could be German by... Wait, by... Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. I forget. There are people who are born like in this world I'm in different like countries <laughs> and don't speak the native tongue of wherever they were coming from. Yo! Talk about a good band, though. You like Ramstein? I do like Ramstein. That's good shit, my man. No, screw you. I do what the fuck I want. Oh my god, get out of here. You know that's one of the ones I don't like. I was born in America, I understand. Romstein? That's fine. I'm gonna still say Ramstein. Ramstein. Because I know it's it's killing you inside then. <laughs> Every inch of this. What is I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she's not listening to this. Is your girlfriend listening to this then? Because if she's not, Kenyana's going to continue to try to ship us. But if she is, Kenyana will stop. I've already told Ken about your girlfriend. That's why she's saying, like, I don't know if I can ship you two because if she's here, I don't want to ship you two and upset her. Okay. Well. Yes! My favorite couple. <laughs> See? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Delete that. Oh, wait. Hey, I haven't done this. Yet. Yeah, man, you know how it is. So, 
this goes there. Uh, it's here. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Zen. Has. Zen just dyed his hair silver. Silver, hair. Right? Yeah. I read it. I need to read it. Hey. Hi. Spy boy. Proud of you. One, two, three, four, five. Plenty of room for that, so that's good. Mm -hmm. That's worked out fairly well. Already? Faster than me, apparently. <laughs> Three, four more years, and I'll be all gray. They shouldn't take that. Like, you're probably going to be salt and pepper. Because even your dad's not all gray. Well, your Gigi's in. Hmm? Sin? Trey? Why don't you read your own chat instead of reading over my shoulder? Yesterday was a sad day, or was yesterday a sad day? Also, yeah, never mind. sorry, I thought there was something weird going on over here, but there's not. It's all good. Damn, that goes like that. Great great grandfather had died? Is that someone that you were particularly close to? Great no. It's just your family history then. There's no way you knew him. There is some Hey Akihito. Great great. Yo, Trey, I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> because you said fiancé, and it reminds me of this this guy from work that talks about his fiancé all the time. And this guy is like... <sighs> Man, dude, you would kill him. Like, in a heartbeat, I can guarantee it. It's nothing against you, it's just... God, dude, this guy <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is a little too long, but the shape comes comes on, so I'm pretty okay with that, to be honest. So, um, is this a MCS-51D? It's the Winnowmaker from Infinite Warfare, uh, which is just a Gucci M200 intervention, because they wanted the quickscopers to be happy in the game, uh, so they just took the M200 and gucci it up a little bit and threw it in the game, as well as a regular version of the M200 too, which was super weird. I remember being like confused about that. It's literally just a gucci M200, like here, I can show you. It's just a gucci M200, man. Oh, he served in both world wars. Okay, that's definitely some family history then being told right there. That's honestly pretty neat. He was 109? Damn, dude. That's a pretty good age to live to. Yeah, man. So this guy at work's in, 
Oh god. He's just he's not the brightest guy ever. But he loves to talk to people and he doesn't take the hint that you don't want to talk to him anymore, so he'll like follow you around and he has no idea how to like regularly converse with people. <coughs> Um, yeah. He, uh, so here's a good, good indication of him. There was a day that we were working out next to Orlando International Airport off the east side of the county. Um, and we were just sitting around waiting on our maintenance of traffic to get set up to close off the road before we brought the machinery over. So uh, he was just standing around smoking a cigarette and I was just watching planes fly overhead because we we're right next to the airport. And he was like, hey, so like my my brother was over in France when uh, Concorde was flying around. And did you know that Concorde flies so fast that in the city they have to lower the nose so that it slows down so that it doesn't break the sound barrier and break out a whole bunch of windows around around the city and I'm kind of an aviation nerd but kind of not really I know enough to get me by in most conversations about airplanes and I know that they never lowered the Concorde's nose to make it slow down they lowered their nose because the pilots needed to see when they came in to land because the delta wing design the triangle type of wing design is really really aerodynamically efficient at high speeds um, provides a lot of really good lift at high speeds, but at low speeds, it's very terrible at that. So you have to come in at a steep, steep angle to land. And if you have this droop snoop in front of it, um, you can't see. So you would drop the droop snoop so you can see. And I was like, no, man, I, I think they drop the nose so that the pilots can see when they land. And he's like, no, no, I swear they do it because they got to slow down because they're moving so fast. And I was just kind of like, yeah, all right, sure, whatever you say. Because I was in one of those types of moods. <laughs> they look tactical. Like, I'm not trying to. I didn't know him too much at the time. So I don't want to, like, outright be like, dude, you're really wrong about how you think this works. So I didn't really pursue it or anything like that but there's also been a couple times now where he just says some things what are you doing so we've been like having a conversation okay so another example we'll be in the middle of this conversation about something and out of nowhere he'll come up and be, we could be talking about, hey man, here's a good example. Hey, uh, hey boss, I heard that you went out fishing on Saturday. How was the fishing out there? And your my boss will go on, you know, for like an hour, or two hours, um, in order to like fish. Like he just has a whole bunch of fishing stories and stuff like that, which are really really awesome to listen to, and like you get to enjoy your time on the crew because you had to hear a whole bunch of really cool fishing stories and stuff. So my boss man will sit there and talk and after everything is said and done, stop. Stop. Can you please put it on me? No. <laughs> you literally said that you weren't gonna be doing shit like this. And then you proceeded to do shit like this. Hey Diamond X. So, like, my boss man will stop in his story to give someone else a chance to talk because, you know, normal people do that in conversation. Uh, and this guy will jump in right after a whole long story about fishing, right? And he'll be like, well, that, that reminds me of the time that my brother was in Germany. Uh, he was on the Autobahn. And he, could you believe that he got pulled over for speeding on the Autobahn? A highway that has no no uh, no speed limit and he'll say it just like that and you're just sitting there and you're like what 
We just got done talking about fishing. How did that remind you of the time your brother was in Germany and got pulled over for speeding on the Autobahn? And this story doesn't even make sense because if the Autobahn has no speed limit, then clearly he didn't get pulled over for speeding. He probably got pulled over for another type of offense because it, you need a special type of license to drive on the Autobahn. I'll tell you that right now. There's special rules that you follow while on the Autobahn. I know that for a fucking fact. So clearly he probably broke some other type of rule and got pulled over for that and like you just don't understand the own, your own story at this point or just really dumb I don't know just sometimes really dumb stuff like that he's an ask us are you listening to that new Avenged Sevenfold song yeah I heard it a few days ago but it didn't come out until this morning he's that type of guy like he'll just say something and then you'd be like but it, what? But it, it, what? And then he'll try to like justify it as best as possible or something like that. Dang, dude. That's a lot of really interesting family history right there, dude. Like you should be, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that you're not, but I would be very proud of my family because that's pretty awesome. King Shark. I look at him and say, you know, that reminds me of a time I gave a flying fuck. Oh, that's right. That time never existed. I really wish, but he's the type of person to be like really butthurt if you told him something like that and would like complain or have an attitude with you when you just asked him to do regular stuff like that. He was fishing, fishing in the car while in the Autobahn. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> All right, I guess. If that's how he, he connected those two stories together. Um, we had a... Uh, for a little while on the construction crew, I was the person in charge of everything. I was the lead, as they say it now, um, because I was the person with the most experience. Uh, now, then that said, I'm also, hold on a second, I'm counting in my head, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm also a trainee still, so I'm technically not above anyone, really, but since I had the most experience, I was the lead on the crew. Um, he had this huge issue with me telling him what to do when I was lead on the crew because to him, I was just a nobody. <laughs> Motionless and white, look for a song called Wasps. That sounds really familiar for some reason. I'll look them up here in a, after streams in. DM it to me so that I don't forget, please. Because you know me, I'll fucking forget. Um, but he had this huge problem with me being the lead. And it's really funny because the day that he vocalized it to someone um, is the same day that he almost caused a major accident on one of the major highways here in um, Central Florida. And I was one of the few people who went there to bail him out after everything happened. No problem, King Shark. Thanks for coming out, my man. So he had a uh, he had this big box behind him that we use for doing long side pushes, and it was on a trailer. And according to him, the trailer came off the hitch of the truck, which you're supposed to secure yourself. You're not supposed to, you know, let someone else do that and not check behind them. Um, and when it came off, the trailer started the fishtail back and forth, and the box slowly but surely kept rocking back and forth to the point where it flipped off the trailer on to the middle of the fucking highway. <sighs> the day that he said he did not like me being the lead is the same day that he did that. And it, yeah, it was, it was really, really funny. I'm not going to lie. It was really ironic. <laughs> Yeah. Can I read? 
I'm fine with him. Oh, yeah, I can see him. I'm glad you understand what that means because I don't. I was literally sitting there like, how am I supposed to ask him what that means without him giving it away in chat? Yeah, I'm not into a whole bunch of different shit, to be honest with you. In Kenyana's words, I'm really vanilla. Oh. He just said, oh. he just told me. I'm going to whisper it to you. <laughs> hey, Luke. Uh, what, a, what a way to enter. Different look. It, I, no matter what, it's what a way to enter. I saw what Luke it was. <laughs> she's fine with that. It's not something that'll ever happen. Not with you. But she's fine with it. Or any woman, bro. Nope. Probably not. Because I open myself to bad We should have an open relationship, Trey. Then she would have, like go out and she would enjoy herself. There's no big deal with that. Uh, like I don't really mind that too much. I ended up encountering a lot of big dogs. But she ended up with like a lot of people that were just really disgusting. <laughs> but I don't really check it <laughs> too much. <laughs> That's the thing. Like every once in a while, I'll check it and just be like, oh yeah, that's nice. I like a good roleplay when I see one. And then there's other times where I'm like, nah, I don't need to be in there. No one added me or anything like that. Like, I'll, I've literally, uh, oh, crap, there's a word for it. What? What are those people that you only hear what they want to hear? Yeah, there you go. I'm like a selective paying attention. <laughs> there's only, like, certain things that I'll actually pay attention to, and then there's other things. Just be like, ah, no, that didn't see a thing. Don't know what the hell happened around here. Thought you weren't supposed to. I thought she, if you're the dad, she's not supposed to talk to anyone else. Well, generally, that's how it's supposed to go. You're only supposed to have one daddy. So was it? Hey, Kukri. So what's up with her and flirting with Tevin, dude? She's just like already up for as long as Oh. You're talking about an open relationship. It takes some getting used to, Trey, but it's one of those things where as long as you do it correctly, you should be okay. I was confused. What? What are you talking about? Well, because for, for us, if you ever felt uncomfortable with something, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, but I would also tell you if I never felt comfortable with you doing something. Most of the stuff that I didn't feel comfortable with her doing was just because she would, like, go meet up with people in the middle of the night in, like, some pretty fucking ludicrous locations. That didn't happen often. It did happen, though. It happened once, and then after the one time, I was like, I'm never coming with you. And she was like, I didn't realize yeah. it I think it'll be okay, Trey. You just need to. Yeah, that's. That's how it started for us. That's how it was for us too. In all honesty. All 
I also, she had an iPhone at the time, and I think I had just gotten mine too. So I was able to track her most of like where she went and whatnot, which really helped out because then I knew she was safe and where she said she was going to be. Which is obviously a good thing. It's hard for you in particular because your situation your situation is kind of unique to be completely honest with you. My recommendation is to open up a communication channel with one another. Get that down and you'll be pretty okay. You see, you already you said it right as I said it, so you already know. Being able to communicate if you're not comfortable with this or not comfortable with that should be priority number one in that type of situation. And then uh, also being able to kind of. Be comfortable talking to one another would be really helpful. I I got really confused because I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? She is not doing what she needs to be doing right now. That is not what I wanted to see. Okay. No. Well, no, you're not supposed no, to be hurt know. by this process, Trey. You're supposed to be happy at the same time. So obviously, if it's hurting you, you need to say something and let her know. Because that's not how that that's supposed to work. It's probably before you started saying what you were saying. But like nothing, my man. You, believe me, you're not supposed to be hurt while this is going on. You're supposed to be just as comfortable. That's not, you're also supposed to be happy while getting both of those. You're not supposed to be miserable. You just need to be capable of saying something. I get you. I understand. Just be kind of cautious, you know. Be aware of what's going on. Don't try to, like, lure yourself into a false sense of, oh, oh everything will be okay, and then, you know, everything's not okay all of a sudden one day.
Um, Trey, come on, man. I think you'll be all right, my man. Not saying that you're not going through some tough times, but I think you'll, you've got some uh, good support around you to be able to get through anything. So you get every last penny worth. Most people not full like this. Is this what this is? I think you need to open up and tell her something. Let her know. It's okay to talk about things. Just let her know, man. Because if she's the type of person that will throw everything away just because you disagree with something and not come to like some type of reasonable compromise between everything, she might not be the person for you. So you I don't know if it's because you suck, man. It might just be because maybe she's unwilling to kind of hear from your side of things, your point of view. looks of everything. Ugh, I hate bipods on, on rifles. I gotta use black scope to design that. I really don't want to. Not that I'm just afraid of losing everything. Fought for her, lost friendships and such to get her. It's okay to say that you're wrong if it ever comes to that part, Trey. Like, uh, okay, so here's a prime example. Uh, I don't think Luke is here in this chat right now because I think he's probably out working. But I'll use him as an example because I know he won't mind. I had a friend out of high school whose name was Luke, obviously, who got into a very toxic relationship with a woman. Not you, Luke. Other Luke. Different Luke, I promise. He got into a very toxic relationship with a woman who he lost friendships over because of her. And I stopped talking to him after he said something pretty disheartening to Kenyana that was really really not something that you should say to Kenyana um and I put my foot down and said nah man you know we can't we can't be friends at this point in time because what you did was not acceptable and I'm not gonna let you get away with saying something like that so I stopped being friends with this guy for a very long time two years yep. 
finally went by um, and he reached out to me and he said, you know, what, what I did to a couple of people, to you guys, to all my other friends and stuff like that was wrong. And it's okay to say that you're wrong. And it's part of your going through life is figuring out who true friends are versus kind of like fake friends. The true friends are the people that even after you say, hey, man, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Stick around. It's the people who leave after you say, hey, I was wrong. I really apologize for what I just did to you. Those are the people that didn't deserve your friendship in the first place. So the whole point of this wonderful conversation is even if at the end of all of this, you go to the friends that you've lost and you tell them, hey, what I did was wrong. If they tell you, oh, okay, that's cool. Go fuck yourself you're better off without them anyways. You never needed to be around them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14. that's she's she was never a good person in my eyes that's that's what i'll say about that like the second she did that that was like all downhill man what she did was really fucked up dude that's not a true friend that's the type of person that Used you for whatever emotional gain she got out of it, and that was it at that point. She knows. She just says she doesn't know because she's really stupid and can't remember half the shit I tell her. I'm not stupid. I have ADHD. T. <laughs> calling me names. We've talked about this. I stopped calling you names. No, you haven't either. <laughs> I've stopped consciously calling you names. See? <laughs> I think I call you stuff when I get angry and I feel like you don't care about my feelings. She knows. I. Oh! Was it that one? Was it the thing you showed me where I learned about his girlfriend? No. No? Oh. I, I told her. I remember you telling me that story. I, I believe me, Zen. I told her. Was I half asleep? No, you were fully fucking awake. I told you this, like, second it happened, basically. Was I paying attention to you? Because I was immediately like, oh my god, you won't believe what this cunt did to fucking Trey. I feel like I would remember that. Oh, wait. Is that the girl? Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I had to reach back. I think it was one of those things that I honestly didn't care about because she sounded like a cunt anyway. Like I said, I, I did, in fact, tell her. The second, I was gonna, I didn't want to say it, but I was like, oh, the redhead! <laughs> go fucking sit back down, leave me alone. No, go fucking lay down, leave me alone. Yeah. I mean, she just sounds like a straight up harlot at that point, man. Dodged a bullet on that one. No. No. No, 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 no. She's over here suggesting fucking horrible things. It wasn't horrible. I'm just not allowed to say it. Why is this? Such, I can't. Why is this a fucking thing? No, she can't. She's being really rude. I'm not being rude. I'm being reasonable. I'm just not allowed to be. 
Yeah, yeah, that'd be a pro move right there. Just, just saying. Chad move. Hey, hmm. I'm not going to say the full name. <laughs> Dang, grip. Still would have been funny as shit, to be honest with you. Everyone just wants to know, man. They're all curious. How, are you asking how long the stream is going to be, or are you asking how long someone's dick is? <laughs> Because I do know the answer to both. You know? Yeah, I do know. <laughs> Wait, are Yes, to, to which? <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> oh, Ruby now is in. Yeah, my man. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Is this a tutorial? No, it's not a tutorial. I don't do tutorials on my channel because I'm not going to feed into the amount of children that want the shit for free. This is a live stream where I just build it and enjoy my time with my friends. My audience. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think anyone could ever sleep in there. It's a tutorial on how to get laid by the wrong people. I disagree wholeheartedly because there are so many like wiki how to things on how to get laid that are like far worse than half the shit that we say to be completely honest with you. Like 100% way worse. Hey, Winter. Nothing much. We're just working on the world's, like, worst what <laughs> Gucci M200 intervention possible. I liked the front end. I like what they did with the front end. I really do like that. Like, the whole rail system and stuff that they've got going on up here. I love that. Perfectly understandable, especially if you're going to put night vision on to this 
weapon like that makes perfect sense but then they added this bipod and i already hate bipods like wholeheartedly bipods just look really ugly on a lot of different things uh and then instead of using all this extra rail space up here or the side rails that they clearly have to mount this peck box they decided to put the peck box on the fucking scope itself which is just disgusting I like if we took this whole rifle and we just removed the bipod, like just covered that up right there, it would be perfectly fine because I think the scope for the most part looks good for what it is, right? Um, but then if you get to the Lego version, having my version of a peck box on here, it's not, it's kind of big for a peck box, like it's too fat this way. Uh, but I really wanted to get all the shaping and everything down into it, so it's kind of one of those things because you can see like how closely this mounts to the actual scope itself. I don't even think they have this physically mounted. I literally think that there's just rubber bands or zip ties or whatever these are. Zen says zip ties, but they look like rubber bands to me, just like mounting this crap together. Like this whole rail up here has zip ties around it. This has zip ties around it, and this part of the stock has zip ties around it for some reason. Over there. Inside the bed. Oh. Inside the case. Where's the case? On that side of the bed in the cubby hole. Oh. Why the case? Oh, you just subbed. Oh. Well, welcome. I don't have enough room for a three so wide one because it would hit this up here. I don't even think we can fit one of these here, but we shall try. Yeah. So I'll just throw that back up here because there is one kind of here in the back, but eh. this we have to design two off the back of here, uh, which I kind of don't want to do. This is plaque bar scope, and it's a really good scope design that I really don't want to ruin <laughs> even more. But I kind of have to to finish the actual Widowmaker. <laughs> I'm not going to paint this because right now it just looks like this horrible abomination of a whole bunch of different things thrown together. Maybe? I'm not too sure because I didn't play infinite warfare long enough but it might be integrally suppressed it definitely looks like it is but i'm not sure i'd have to read up the description of the Widowmaker. in fact let's just do that right now because i'm curious so it is a burst fire, bolt action sniper rifle, appearing in Infinite Warfare. It resembles the intervention from previous games, except the barrel is also covered by the lightweight mold, and it fires in a two-round burst mode before cycling. That is really weird. Like, really weird. Let me get off this wiki, because wiki's like have so many ads on them to just destroy everything. I just got so scared because there was a little face in the bottom of your screen. Yes, I did definitely make quite a bit of progress. Yeah, man, I usually don't stream this late at night. I just, tonight was kind of different because I haven't streamed in a little bit of time. And I have the time now, other than to potentially getting a call for standby, like uh, because I am on standby. But you know that that could have happened easily. But oh my god, Trey! I gotta do that final little bit. Oh. 
Yeah, it's definitely been quieter today. I think potentially the guy who's in charge of everything right now is giving everyone a little bit of a break before they go into work tomorrow. I think, maybe, anyway. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Usually both I get to see are the ones posted in, in the server. Yeah, I just... Now is finally one of those times where I've sat down to, to work for the most part. Um, I don't always record everything I build either because there has been a lot of things that I've built but don't show because I just sometimes forget to show things. Um, and I don't always record every single thing I build for the most part because, you know, sometimes there's just stuff I end up building and don't sh um, record for whatever reason. Uh, like recently, for example, the Model 1887 that I built yesterday, I didn't uh, record any of that because I was actually on a work site when I made that because um, we had basically finished our job and we were taking some time to do some paperwork and stuff like that, so while they were working on that, I had a uh, downtime to make that wonderful model 1887. So. No, I don't think I showed her. Toaster just responded to my community post about. Yeah, Toaster. Wait, Toaster or Toaster? Toaster. Toaster King? What? Toaster King? No. Toaster from the server. Do, did you play any games? Do I play any games? Currently, right now, Apex Legends, like the most games, that's the most I invest time into in terms of games. Um, and then for like just enjoying time playing games, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, because that game is like super easy to me. To be completely honest, I don't know what it is. But like playing Apex and then going to that game is way easier for some strange reason. I don't know what it is, but it is. Um, those are probably the two biggest games that I end up playing right now. Not a whole bunch of anything else going on in terms of games. Um, if I ever uninstall Modern Warfare 2019, considering how much frickin' size it takes up on my um, hard drive. I might go back to playing Warframe, Smite, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Dang, good luck, Luke. You've got it, man. I'm sure you'll be all right. Thank you. It is. Man, I like this. That's not really It does say good when it turned off. What? What? Why not? Bad joke is bad, Zen. <laughs> Thanks, Luke.
I technically need to put that stupid circle piece back here, which is annoying. Because I need to replicate how I accomplished it. Well, how Black Bar accomplished it, because I'm not the one who made this. I know it's curved because it's a rubber eyepiece. I'm not going to do that. That would be like some next level stuff that I don't think I'm capable of doing, all things considered, because I just don't make scopes. Scopes are not, not what I do. Um, I think it depends. I know who you're watching. There's like some live stream builds that I've watched of people building where I'm just like, uh, come on, man. Why do this? Do this instead. Like, um, and then it also depends on how they're building. Um, because building in LED on stream is a lot better than having to wait for someone to find the actual Lego pieces inside their bins and stuff like that. That can get somewhat frustrating because you're sitting there like, oh god, I really wish you could just continue on with what you're doing. Don't get me wrong, it also depends on their personality because obviously if they're very capable of entertaining you with their conversation, it'll be fine. For the most part, live streaming is good. It just depends on your capabilities as a streamer, really. It just depends on who you are. And then, like, there are plenty of people who are capable of doing this. I'm pretty sure Charlie has talked about this. Critical thing one zero. A lot of people won't buy a lot of different things. Where you can survive as a content creator no matter what, as long as you're a very interesting personality and you know how to talk to people. It depends, Trey, because there are, you have to understand that the chat is just as important as the person talking in order to keep the conversation moving. If the chat is refusing to talk back to you or give you things to talk about while going, it's going to not work out for you. You'll find out that a lot of times if chat's not saying anything to me, I'll narrate everything that I'm doing on screen for 15 to 30 minutes. And if chat is still dead after 15 to 30 minutes of me narrating, I just shut up and stop talking. And it'll be just a silent stream. Obviously helpful, Trey. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad I inspired you. Keep going, my man. Lego is not just a kid's toy. A lot of people forget that Lego is a full-on system and that Lego as a system is really, really good. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of really cool things out there in the world that are made in <laughs> very particular ways that uh, once you see them, you're just kind of like, wow, I didn't expect someone to make that out of Legos. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I got reminded of one of those today. Is that the thing you showed me or something else? That's the thing I showed you. <laughs> I really want there to be some type of two-tone in here because it's really going to bother me if this is all just one color the entire way.
So technically everything in black we should be able oh I just recolored all of that as well to black like a dumbass I did a vocal cover of Everlong yesterday as well as the acoustic guitar tracks for it it's me and Kayla's song Everlong as in the Food Fighters song Everlong it's not a bad song by them Yes, we do. It's that one song that you heard the other day that you were like, oh yeah, this one. We talked about this the last time I went looking for music. The piano song? I don't know. I don't think it was the piano song. Oh, wait, the one. I can understand that then. Everlong is just one of those songs that I... I hear of, and I'm not like immediately like, yeah, that's totally a romantic song <laughs> that you have. But I can understand where you're coming from. I don't remember which song it was, can y'all? Yeah. I do not know that song. I don't even know that band or singer if it's a singer, because that's also an option. I feel you. It's definitely a theme in Everlong, so I get that. Oh, I'm not a huge music buff, in case you haven't noticed in our entire time of being friends. So a lot of times you like name singers and there's like very few bands out there that are going to be like, oh yeah, this guy. Like, okay, I think Brett Michaels is like the only person that I can name from a band. Brandon what? Brandon Who? Brandon Who? Brandon Who? Brandon no, I don't know him. Ozzy Osbourne is kind of like a given though because his name is basically his band. Corey Taylor sounds really familiar. Is that Five Finger Death Punch by chance? Oh, Slipknot and Stone Sour. Damn it. No, I haven't heard his new stuff then. I know he was first in Black Sabbath because there was ages ago I was really into uh, Iron Man and there was a day that I was over at someone's house and they're like, hey man, what do you want to listen to? I got this uh, Bluetooth hooked up so we can listen to anything. And I was like, yeah, I want to listen to Iron Man. And he was like, oh, which version? And I was like, what's different versions? What do you mean? And then he explained to me the difference because the original song was by Black Sabbath and then obviously Ozzy Osbourne did his own rendition of it. <laughs> Duality all over again. Oh god. I don't keep up with the, the names. It's as simple as that. Uh, I'd say that, but then there's like a couple names that I know off the top of my head. Like, um, oh my god, he, Chris Cornell uh, is a huge name. 
because I love Black Hole Sun. Rest in peace, obviously. Um, Ozzy Osbourne, you kind of have to know him. Black Eyes Blues by Corey Taylor. Hmm. Send that to me in my DMs too. I saw that you sent the other one. Throw that one in there too. I really needed to get some two tone going on here because this all being like one major color is not going to work out for me. Unpopular opinion, when it comes to my group of friends, I'm not actually a huge fan of the looks of the intervention. I love the looks of the intervention. The sad part is, it's really interesting because the Forgotten Weapons video on the intervention, they were selling that intervention in that auction, and if, if I knew I had enough money, I would have definitely participated in that auction online to try to get one. Um, and then I believe you can still order them from Shytac nowadays as well. I would definitely get one if I had enough money. It's obviously a really high-end rifle. Potentially, yes. It's the funny thing is the M two hundred is so much different. It's a competition sniper rifle. It's also a chassis rifle, but it they took in they took that precision competition rifle. They took the chassis idea because the intervention at its core is the the bolt action itself. And they put it in this chassis that was more towards the militaristic side of things to uh, basically try to get that whole kind of contract locked down. Do I have a bullet on top of this magazine by chance? Or no? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. It's just blank on top, which is good because that helps us out because we can just connect it and make this, this color instead. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the looks of it. It's just one of those rifles that I would be fine without or without seeing. Um, I get what you're saying. Um, there's a whole bunch of different rifles out there that I feel the exact same way about. Next time, do the Calibri. I actually already have a Calibri built, in fact. We can import it. I built the Calibri the other day because I was really looking for something that was going to be like super quick to do. So, Calibri. Yeah. 
the Glaxon? No, I definitely won't be making the Glaxon. I don't really like the meme stuff. I was just looking for like a real gun the other day that would have been like a pretty big challenge to do because the cleavery is almost like one stud wide basically. So it was also really, really small and I wanted to do that. Kenyana, where are your headphones at? Some next to you. Where? In the thing. No. Give me your headphones. Definitely looks a lot better with the two zoom going on. The peck box on this actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, I've been looking at it from this angle the entire stream. This angle doesn't look bad either. So that's actually kind of looks pretty good to be honest with you guys. I lost my AirPods. <laughs> the very sawed off shotgun from H. I don't know which shot off you're talking about, Evan. There's a whole bunch in H3, H3. Can't hear Galaxon without getting flashbacks to almost everyone in my different new names Discord spamming it and asking people to build it. <sighs> I know. That's part of the reason why I don't want to make it anyways, because people got really, really behind that for no reason. And it got really annoying. I like to be spammed by it every single day. I think this is smaller than a minigun. Thank you. This was a really fun project to be doing. Partially because it looks really good up here for the most part. Remove the bipod and it would look almost perfect. Like that. That right there is perfectly acceptable in my book. If in the next stream you can do a mini gun, I will call my friend to sub. Uh, that's not. That's not gonna make me do it. <laughs> like I'm good. I don't know why a lot of people want cursed guns made out of Legos, cause it's. It's not like they can look at cursed guns in pictures, you know. I don't. I don't get it. Some people just different I guess I'm not entirely sure I don't know it's funny though because if you play into it and what people want you can really gain some subs like really quick like I'm not gonna put any names out there but no because I can't even say that because his story is different than that so we'll completely skip over that should do a sig 553 um i need to do a lot more sig rifles because i've only got one i think i have the sig 556 xi from rainbow six siege i have that built but i think that's like the only sig rifle that i have made um i definitely need to make another one i have to make another one for example um because well, for instance, there is another SIG assault rifle in... Yeah, I'm talking about rifles in particular, Trey. There's another SIG assault rifle in Rainbow Six Siege that I have to make when I get to the German operators. I'm still on the Russian operators. I haven't finished them yet. Um, 
there's a SIG rifle in Black Ops 2, technically, it's it's heavily implied it's a SIG. It's not, you know, perfectly there. If you're looking for a request, I request an ASVAL. Um, let's do that real quick. Uh, file, save as, because we still haven't saved it. Song was fantastic, it literally just ended. That's definitely music I could get behind. Hey, no problem, gamer. I appreciate it, my man. We do already have an ASVAL. That's pretty good so far. That's the ASVAL that I have in particular. That's my different usernames ASVAL. Um, that has been modified in particular. Um, interesting. Rip. So I have an ASVAL. I'm also really happy with his ASVAL in particular um, because I made a couple modifications to it. Um, so obviously the barrel is a huge change from my different usernames because I use the 6x6 pieces that are perfectly cylindrical as opposed to just 45 degree slopes. I understand entirely why my different username did it because this I'm kind of running a risk as it breaking potentially. Um, there's so much air inside of that that it might be okay but I'm not entirely sure at the same time. So. I don't know. Um, I also expanded his magazine well from holding a two stud wide magazine to a three stud wide and kind of smooth things out here and there. But for the most part, it's his ASVAL. So we do have an ASVAL. I don't think I'll ever make another one. LDD being LDD again. Did you save it? Yeah, I saved it. Do you want a picture? No. I think they're dry. I'll try them. Let me know if it was just the one that I had that was dry. You had a dry cupcake? Yes, I had a dry cupcake. You know what I think about it? These weren't baked right. I don't think I went back and updated your Rhino. Oh, yeah, you are right. I think I literally was like, oh shit, damn, that looks really nice. Trey has a fantastic new looking Rhino. And then I don't think I ever came back and updated it. I'm guessing that's why it exploded out it did. They didn't mix the batter right. I mixed it into the batter. I don't, I just open this. They're probably thinking that they have a lot of things, butter chunks in it. Whoops, that's not the right one. I have two models on my desktop, not just the one. I made the frosting, that's the frosting. The frosting was okay. Did you make some frosting? No, not really. Alright, then. It's 10 o'clock. I have to go to work tomorrow. In seven hours, I think. So, we've been streaming for. almost going on two hours exactly. So, I know I made your rhino. I'm saying I haven't updated it though. Oh, I see what you're saying. I I thought you, because I know you went back and you remade it, right, recently. I thought you meant, like, 
I want to see what it looked like after you went back and redid it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. One moment. This is what it looked like. Yeah, I was being really stupid because what I thought you meant is did I take this model and then with your most recent re-release with the new cylinder, did I go back through and remake that new cylinder on this model? And then I was like, no, I never did that. Why would you ask if you want to see it if I never did that? But now I realized you, in your text, you said, I want to compare my new one to your updated version. And I was like, oh, yeah, so that's my bad sin. That's Trey's revolver, so most of it is his. I don't, I think I extended the barrel because it had a shorter barrel and I smoothed things out in a couple of different places, but for the most part, it's his. The front idea? Which front idea are you talking about? Like extending out the front? I think most of this would be perfectly fine other than these vents here because I think I used the clicking the ratcheting pieces and like obviously those are going to try to ratchet to their positions and stuff staying at that very weird angle that I have them at oh yeah definitely a good looking revolver that said though uh, we are done with what we were trying to do tonight uh, it took a little bit longer than what I thought it was gonna take to do which is fine um, but I've got to render this this is gonna take two hours to render I'll probably be asleep by the time it finishes actually rendering um, and then I'll be going to work tomorrow I'll probably post it tomorrow morning sometime Gotcha. That's it. Thank you guys for coming out and watching. I really appreciate everyone that who stuck by and everything. I, believe me, I really do. I'll see you guys another time. Um, Twelve o'clock tonight. There should be a post to to my channel. I believe it's Jim's Lego Sig P two two nine that I've updated. It comes in, and then on Wednesday is another video. I don't even remember, but. Thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. And I'll be going to my different usernames Discord server after this to post this screenshotted image. So, no, you're all good, Trey. I'll see you guys around another time.